medial side of the kidney has this indentation called the hilum. Now if we look more closely, we can see some of the structures that are entering and leaving by way of this hilum. We have the renal artery bringing blood to the kidney. Here is the renal vein. And right over here is the ureter. Here again is the hilum. And you can see that the hilum is filled with various structures, including the renal artery, the renal vein, and the renal pelvis, which is exiting and becoming the ureter. These vessels are branching within a space, which is within this indentation. This space is referred to as the renal sinus. The renal sinus is going to be filled with material such as adipose tissue and branches of blood vessels. So this renal sinus is not an actual cavity, but represents a potential space. The renal artery brings blood to the kidney and once the renal artery enters through the hilum into the renal sinus, it branches and forms what are called segmental branches, which then go to the substance of the kidney, the working tissue of the kidney, in between the lobes by way of what are called interlobar arteries. So right over here, going through the renal columns, you have the interlobar arteries. Then the interlobar arteries get to the boundary between the cortex and medulla and go along that boundary and then form what are called the arcuate arteries. So again, here is the segmental artery giving rise to the interlobar artery, which then becomes the arcuate artery as it goes between the boundary between the medulla and the cortex. And then coming off the arcuate artery, these branches are referred to as the interlobular arteries. As blood drains from the kidneys, the veins will parallel the arteries on their way out. For example, right alongside the interlobular arteries, which you don't see right over here in this region, you have the interlobular veins which are draining blood from the cortex. And the blood then drains into the arcuate vein, which would be right alongside the arcuate artery. And then blood drains into the interlobar vein, and then into the segmental veins, and then finally, by way of the renal veins, out of the kidneys through the hilum.